Hi. So today we will study areas. Okay. So areas of some figures which are unaffiliated to circles. So first thing you should need to know is that an area of a circle is pi r square, and the r is the radius, and the perimeter of a circle is two pi r. R is the radius, and pi is a constant, which is approximately three point one four, and often it is represented as twenty two by seven. Now, let us look at an interesting figure, a sector of a circle. So I draw a circle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is a circle. Now, I make two radii like this, and this is called a sector. So a good way to define a sector is how much angle these two. Radii make. So let us denote this by theta. And we need to find out the area of this portion. And of course, if you find this area, you can easily find the area of this part. You just subtract this from the area of a circle by a square. Another important thing to note is that this is the minor sector. Okay. This is the major part. So this is the largest. We call this major part. Major. Okay. And this is really really easy to find. This calculate this area. Now you can. I suggest you pause this video and try this on your own, because the derivation is really simple. You should use unitary method. So I hope you have it. Had a go at it. Now see, we'll use unitary method. Three hundred sixty degrees, and three hundred sixty degrees mean the you take a round like this. So three hundred sixty degrees corresponds to pi r square, because if you move three hundred sixty degrees, you are completing a circle. The area will be pi r square. So how much would one degree make? How much area would one degree cover? That will correspond to pi r square divided by Three hundred sixty degrees, easy enough. And then we can say for any angle theta, okay, it will will correspond to pi r square by three sixty degrees into theta, the angle. And we are done. This is the area of a sector. Let me write this down in a much nicer format. Area of A sector is theta by three sixty into pi i square, and this is easier to remember because this is theta out of the total angle three sixty degrees. So this is the formula for area of a sector. Now we can use similar approach to find out the area of an arc. For example, we need to find the arc length subtended by this angle, which is this one. Okay, this one. You should do this on your own. Similar analogy. Okay, let me do this. And three hundred sixty degrees corresponds to the total distance covered. So you start from here, you travel three hundred sixty degrees, and you get back. So. The on the circumference you are transversing a distance of two pi r, two pi r. So one degree will be two pi r by three sixty degrees. And I am not going to cancel two and three sixty degrees. You will see why. So we get theta as two pi r upon three sixty degrees into theta. So writing this in a much more nice manner. So arc length will be theta by three sixty into two pi r. And the reason why I haven't cancelled out the two and the three sixty because it tells it's a much more nicer way to look at it because this is the perimeter and this is part of a perimeter. Three theta by three sixty. That's what it tells. That's the arc length and 
the sector. A similar derivation for these. Now, a much, much more interesting part is to find out the area of a segment. We'll see that. Let me draw a segment. Okay, let me draw a segment. the center let's call it O and I'll draw these two radii this angle is theta and I draw a segment like this oops Now we, I need to find out the area of this part. How do I go about this? Well, you know it might look trivial at first because all you need to do is find out the area of this sector subtended by this angle theta and then subtract the area of this triangle. But you will realize that you are into a problem here because you don't know the area of this triangle for any general theta. Now we can do very special case where theta is 90 degree. So let me draw this quickly. Here's a circle, small circle. Okay. This angle is 90 degree, so it looks something like this. Okay, 90 degree. This is the radius, this is the radius, they both are equal. So what is the area of this entire sector? Okay, area of sector will be theta by 360, so 90 by 360 into pi r square and what will be the area of this triangle this is again oh sorry first let me calculate this pi r square by 4 is enough and what is the area of this triangle well it's half times base into height so this is the base and this is the height or this is the base this is the height doesn't matter this is r into r times half so r square by 2 let me write this down so area of triangle is r square by 2 so this gives the area of a sector segment sorry segment as pi r square by 4 minus r square by 2 area of a se se sector minus the area of its triangle and we can take r by 2 common, we get pi by 2 minus 1. This is for a special, very special case, a, a 90 degree triangle. Now, but this is not general, that's the problem with it. Another case we can do deal with is that this angle, central angle is 60 degree. So if this is the circle, this is 60 degree, then these two will be 60 degrees. I hope you all can understand because these two lines are equal. Both of them are equal to the radii. And then you can use the area of uh, an equilateral triangle. And solve for this segment. Important thing to note is that this is the minor segment. And the bigger part is the major segment. That's, that's but not, these are not the general cases. Now let me tell you the general case. So, an area of a triangle. Because if I tell you the area of a triangle in general, then you can easily solve for the segment. Now, this is important, so you should watch this carefully. If I draw a triangle, something, any triangle, something like this, okay? If I mark these points, let's call this A, B, C, now this is a very conventional drawing okay when we study trigonometry later these types of triangles with such labeling is very common so this angle is a this angle is b this angle is c all these three not necessarily they should be equal the side opposite to a we generally label this as small a opposite to b small b and opposite to c small c this is the conventional labeling 
Now, the area of this triangle, so this one, mm, area of triangle ABC is, notice this carefully, the product of two sides, half product of two sides, these two let us say, so 1 by 2 AB times the sine of angle between them. So if I say A and B, which half of AB, product of these two sides, times sine C, sine C, sine C. The C is the angle between these two. That's the, that. This is what you should remember: the product of two sides times the sine of angle between them. Similarly, it's half. BC, product of these two with sine, sine A. And it will be equal to 1 by 2. You can do this now. CA into sine of angle between them, sine B. Now that you know the area of a triangle, you are all set to go for this area of a segment. Now, what is the area of this triangle? Well, these two sides are R. Okay. The radius. This angle is theta. The area of this triangle is 1 by 2 product of these two sides. That's R square times the angle, sine of angle between them. Sine theta. Okay. So, area of this triangle. Area of this triangle is R square by 2 sin theta the area of this sector is theta by 360 into pi r square area of sector theta by 360 into pi r square which gives the area of segment as area of segment as so, this take the difference by 360 into pi r square minus r square by 2 sin theta. Write this down in one final left segment. You can take r square common or r square by 2 common, whatever you like. Okay, r square by 2 common. Let me take this. You can take whatever you want. Just the important thing is that you just subtract these two. That's the important thing. You can you know manipulate the formula in your own way. That gives that leaves me with pi by 180 minus sine theta. This is the general expression for the area of a segment. Now it is consistent with this. This our formulation of area for a right when your theta is 90 degrees consistent with this formula. So you put theta, where it's theta pi, the theta into pi, okay? So theta will put, put, put theta as uh, 90 degrees, you get r square 90 upon 180, that's 1 by 2, and sine 90 is nothing but 1, so you get 1 there. This is a general expression for an area of a segment. And if you find out, want to find out the area of the other segment, you just subtract this from pi r square. Now, here comes the important part. In many books, it's written, you take r square common, so it's sine theta by 2 is left. Okay. So, when sine theta by 2 is left, so when uh, it looks something like this, so it's r square theta by 360 into pi minus 1 by 2, so instead of 1 by 2 sin theta, 1 by 2 sin theta, some books write minus cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2. This is slightly longer, okay? That's what they write. Now, don't panic. This, these two are exactly the same. So let me show this why this is true. Again, I'm telling you a formula, so believe me for now. And when you let us study this, this is what we get. Now, sine 
2x, where x is an angle, is equal to 2 cos x sin x. I am telling you this, but this is an identity. So if you know the sum of sin a plus b, then you can easily show this. Sin 2x is 2 cos x sin x. Okay. So which gives 1 by 2 sin 2x. Now when I, when I write trigonometry, I always tend to write these such variables 1 by 2 outside because it gives an impression that it's x by 2 or 2x by 2 something like that. So cos x by 2 sin x. Okay, so cos x sin x, sorry. Now we replace x by theta by 2. Okay, so x is equal to put x equal to theta by 2. What do you get? You get 1 by 2. Oops. You get 1 by 2 sin 2 times theta by 2, that's theta as cos x cos theta by 2 into sin theta by 2 and that's what some authors use so in, in, in they use so cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2 instead of 1 by 2 sin theta but for me sin theta is much more efficient because we need to calculate only theta and only the sine of only with sine because in this method we need to calculate the half of this angle the sine and its cos so it's always better to use this one. So now we are done with. We learnt what's the area of a sector, area of a segment, arc length, and area of any triangle. Also, a very common trigonometric identity. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.